Okay, so uh, today is April 26th, 2023, and we are hoping we continue this tradition. All right, so for my daily stoic today, the title is Things Happen in Training. When your sparring partner scratches or headbutts you, you don't then make a show of it or protest or view him with suspicion or as a plotting against you. And yet you keep an eye on him, not as an enemy or with suspicion, but with a healthy avoidance. You should act this way with all things in life. We should give a pass to many things with our fellow trainees. For as I've said, it's possible to avoid without suspicion or hate. Marcus Aurelius, Meditation 6.20 by seeing each day and each situation as a kind of training exercise, the stakes suddenly become a lot lower. The way you interpret your own mistakes and the mistakes of others is suddenly a lot more generous. It's certainly a more resilient attitude than going around acting like the stakes of every encounter put the championship on the line. When you catch an elbow or an unfair blow today, Shake off the pain and, and remind yourself, I am learning. My sparring partner is learning too. This is practice for both of us. That's all. I know a bit more about him or her and from my reaction, they're going to learn a little bit more about me too. I think that's, that's how you, you're more cordial in an environment as well. So for uh, today's exercise, uh, the question is, how can I learn from my sparring partners? Um, I think when when Marcus probably wrote about the sparring partners, but basically, you know, your your companions in your training for I don't know for war or something. So um, the sense of a sparring partner in current times could be could be a lot of things. Um, I mean, it could be your partner, like your your life partner, your husband or your boyfriend. Um, or it could be your colleagues, you know, the people who you, who you work with and you're basically training with them and you're learning to be better at your job, learning to be better as a, as a person, as a professional. So how I can learn from my sparring partners as I think about it is I focus more on a few key points. Pay attention to what they're saying, what they're doing, how they're working. I think that's that's mimi that mimicking aspect of it also really sometimes helps to uh, you to understand what they're doing and why they're doing it. Um, ask questions. I think curiosity and, and asking the right amount of questions really uh, goes a long way. People also tend to uh, come back and uh, pay attention to you. It's like just human trait that you would want to uh, answer the questions that are being asked to you. Um, try new things. Um, it's not uh, you know one-stop solution to to life. So, be it in your in your family relationships, personal relationships, or professional relationships, you should try new things and experiment and 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 do your uh, do your design of experiments. You can say like you know study of uh, what should be uh, the right path. Um, analyze your performance, how you're doing it. I think that constant check on a daily basis. Um, weekly and monthly basis is really important and you know we, we always do like what did you do to this year so let that you know check back is really important as well be open to feedback you know it, it's it's a two-way street if you are capable of teaching someone else how to live life or how to live the ways you should be capable of learning from others as well and, and understand that when someone's giving you someone that you know and cares about you. It's giving you feedback. It's coming out from a right place. Um, so be open to it. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.